What's up you guys? Welcome to the video. So today I have a totally random video for you. I am going to be reviewing my old CD collection from the 90s to the 2000s and we're just going to see what I thought good music was back then? Question mark. <laughs> Truly, I know this is super random, but basically I found my old CD tower and I thought it would be great just to go through it on camera because it's been a really long time. So we're gonna take a walk down memory lane today. You guys are gonna get a little taste of what Emma used to listen to. So I'm just gonna start right at the top and we're gonna work our way down. I also haven't like really looked through this. I wanted it to be a surprise. So at the top, I have two random mix CDs. For those of you who don't know, making mix CDs was like a passion of mine. I made them literally all the time for every reason. So this one says Bamboozle 2011 and this just says random with little stars because that's cute. Bamboozle was an alternative pop punk festival that I went to for like eight years in a row. So this is probably all pop punk. Who knows what this is? I really wish I had a CD player now. I'm just gonna take this whole top stack out. Okay, I feel like the top must have been the last few CDs I bought because this is a Valencia album. Honestly, I remember Valencia, but I don't remember them liking this much. But this just goes to show you when streaming wasn't really that big of a thing. If you liked one song, you literally had to buy the entire CD. So we love that. <laughs> I mean, Maroon 5, Songs About Jane, like, hello, Harder to Breathe, This Love, She Will Be Loved, absolute banger. You can't go wrong with Maroon 5, am I right? <laughs> Okay, here's our first, now that's what I call music. This is number 19, you guys. This featured songs like Gwen Stefani, Holla Back Girl, Eminem, Mockingbird, Shakira, La Tortura, The Killers, Mr. Brightside. Oh my God, when did this come out? She's from 2005, so that's cute. I was obsessed with these. I think I literally bought every single one up until like 20 something probably. I mean, the Eminem show, hello. This was something that my mom actually wouldn't really let me listen to. So I don't know, this might've been my brother's CD because I wasn't allowed to listen to this. Yeah, in 2002, I was 11 years old. So great, great album though. He's still my favorite rapper and this album is an absolute classic. I mean, my chem, again, my little emo phase. Absolutely love them. This album is incredible, so. This is why I haven't thrown these out because I feel so nostalgic and I feel like these are classics and it, it would kill me to part from these CDs. I mean, why wouldn't I have the Sweeney Todd motion picture soundtrack? Um, the Johnny Depp version. <laughs> I low-key am super into musicals. I used to go to Broadway shows like every single year and Sweeney Todd is one of my favorites. And this movie is amazing, so, okay. Boys Like Girls. This was one of my favorite albums ever. I was obsessed with Boys Like Girls, like all these songs, The Great Escape, Five Minutes to Midnight, Hero Heroine, like iconic pop punk album, absolutely love this. Oh, now we're going back real far. You can tell I listened to this a million times because it's so beat up. This is the Backstreet Boys Black and Blue CD. She was used and abused. When did this come out? 2000, I was nine. I absolutely loved Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. You're gonna see a whole bunch of boy bands up in here, but this CD was amazing. Shape of my heart, the call, all good. Baby, bye, bye, bye. Okay, what do we have on top? Obviously the Backstreet Boys Millennium album. Larger Than Life, I Want It That Way, Show Me The Meaning Of Being Lonely, The One, do you know the times I've cried over this CD? Like this was amazing. When This has to be really late. Yeah, this was 99, so I was eight years old. This, this is absolutely everything. I love them. Oh my God, I wanna like look through the CD real quick. I would blast this, oh my God, Nick Carter. Can we talk about it? This is what the TikTok boys are trying to be, but Nick Carter was it first. Oh my God, the dust. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my god, my, well, I just got that all over my black pants. 
I mean, NSYNC, no strings attached. I think this was when like the love affair really, really, really developed. I mean, this is Bye Bye Bye, It's Gonna Be Me, it Just Got Paid, No Strings Attached, Digital Get Down. Ugh. I saw them in concert at Madison Square Garden. It was one of the best moments of my life. It was absolutely amazing. I was completely and utterly obsessed with NSYNC. I was a Justin Timberlake girl and I loved JC as well, but this one, all the classics are on that album. And then obviously NSYNC Celebrity comes next. This one had a couple smash hits like Pop and Celebrity and Girlfriend, but I feel like it didn't get as much love as obviously No Strings Attached, but I loved this and I played this to death. Completely, completely obsessed with that one as well. Jennifer Lopez on the six. How fire does she look? Like what an absolute babe. If you had my love, too late, let's get loud. She was amazing, she was amazing. I always loved J-Lo from her first single that ever came out, Woman's Iconic. We got another J-Lo CD here. <laughs> this one was Love Don't Cost a Thing, I'm Real, Play, Ain't It Funny, I mean. Which, what, what year is this? This was 2001? I was 10 years old? I mean, she's just so hot. This, this, whole, this whole CD was so good. Of course, I had Justin Timberlake justified. I mean, this was his first CD that he put out. Senorita, Like I Love You, Cry Me a River. What a heartthrob. Look at that, babe. Oh, we're going back in time now. Now that's what I call music, 17. This one had hits such as Black Eyed Peas, Let's Get It Started, Goodies by Sierra, Akon, Locked Up, Jojo Baby, It's You. We had Ashley Simpson, Piece of Me. I loved Ashley Simpson and her TV show. I was like completely obsessed with that. Bowling for Soup, 1985, oh my lord. This was 2004, wow. That feels like forever ago. And then the last one in this pile is obviously the Love Actually movie soundtrack. <laughs> I can't remember if I, if I bought this or my mom did because my mom and I love this movie. But there's like really good songs on this and this is still one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. So that's actually hysterical that I have this CD. <laughs> Okay, I can already tell this pile is full of gems. So first off, we have Britney Spears' Baby One More Time. I am 99% sure this is the first CD I ever bought. It was, of course, Britney's first album. This one came out in, I can't even read that, 1998? Was this 98? No, this was 1999. I don't even have the little like pamphlet in the front, but look how cute. I mean, she's a baby. Like she was 16 years old and this was like something I played all the time. Maybe one more time, you drive me crazy. Sometimes, soda pop. I must have listened to this a hundred million times and I can't, I literally cannot part with this because that was my first CD ever. And then we have AFI, December Underground, which I also loved and played to death. This was definitely in high school. Yeah, this was 2006. So I was 15. So this was like prime. I'm starting to get into my like pop punk emo phase and this album is amazing, so not surprised by that. Um, I don't have the CD, but I just have a random Christina Aguilera pamphlet. I'm pretty sure I kept this because I just thought that she was just so freaking hot. Like, are you joking? Christina was a little racy for a young girl. Oh, but right after that, we have Christina's first CD ever. So this has Genie in a Bottle on it, of course. This must be 90s too. Yeah, 99, 99, Backstreet Boys. We got Britney's album, we got Christina's album. I mean, looking at it now, they look like children. It's crazy, it's like blowing my mind. Didn't even know I own this, BB Mac. Anybody? Comment below if you remember BB Mac, please. Just humor me. Um, they were a Irish band. I'm pretty sure they were from Ireland. They were so cute. What was the song that I loved? Back Here. This was from 2000. <laughs> I feel like my mom and I loved BB Mac. That's so random. Oh, and then here we go, the OG, the first ever Backstreet Boys CD. Look at the back of this album. Like, look at them. If Britney was my first, this has to have been my second because I think this was not, no. Did I buy this first? Could this have come before Britney? Because this says 97. Dude, I was six years old. <laughs> I just loved them so much. I had like the biggest crush on all of them. Okay, and now we're getting into my, my um, Britney Spears phase because she's an absolute legend and I am still obsessed with her. She's amazing. Which one was first? 
Okay, first was Oops, I Did It Again. This one came after Hit Me Baby One More Time. Then I think it was Britney, because this is I'm a Slave For You. Yeah, and then In The Zone. So that was the order that they went in. So first we have Britney Spears, Oops, I Did It Again. I was completely obsessed with this photo. This was 2000. Oh, this was like lucky, stronger, I get no satisfaction, absolute queen. And then this album, Britney, this was like her whole I'm growing up phase. So this was I'm a slave for you, overprotected, lonely, I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. I love this outfit. I don't think people realize how iconic Britney was. Like Britney was the biggest like pop princess like ever. She still is, she's amazing. Um, this one was 2000. Three. So I can't I can't get rid of my Britney CDs. I have all four of them right here. Those are staying in my collection I'm already laughing at this next pile. This is probably my random pile because they're at the bottom. So first off we've got Ricky Martin We've got Ricky Martin. I'm just gonna say that again live in La Vida Loca. This is so old. This is 99 again this was like if a song popped off and was so popular, you bought the entire CD. That's just like how it was for anybody who's watching who's very young. <laughs> Rick, Live in La Vida Loca was like literally one of the biggest songs in 1999. Um, I feel like my mom low-key probably had a crush on him as well. <laughs> and I think this was before he was out, so I don't think anybody knew he was gay at the time, but all the ladies loved him, I'm just gonna say that. Um, Spice Girls, hello, I'm, I was waiting for this to come out. Wannabe, Say You'll Be There, To Become One. This was their hits album, because it says 2007, but I am a Spice Girls stan. Oh no, the CD is missing. <laughs> yeah, this is later because Posh cut her hair short, and I just remember when she cut her hair, like everybody wanted that short haircut she had. Kelly Clarkson. Thankful right after American Idol. I mean this was huge. This was everywhere Miss Independent. It's the chunky highlights for me. You know what I mean? Look at those highlights. That's what was in pink Misunderstood absolutely love pink. She's still a legend. She looks like a child here. This was her first CD When did this come out? This was 2001. I just remember she was just like such a bad girl. Like all the other pop stars were so like clean cut and then Pink came out here and she was rowdy. She was like a fun party girl. Oh, we got another super dusty Kelly Clarkson CD. This was Breakaway. God, I love Kelly. Kelly's voice is so good. Oh, wow. Okay, comment below if you remember Eden's Crush. Anyone? Eden's Crush. They won the TV show Pop Stars. So they were like formed as a girl group and they had the song Get Over Yourself. Stop what you're doing right now and go listen to Get Over Yourself by Eden's Crush because it was the best thing ever. I don't even know what this is. It just says all of their names on the back. This is making me feel weird. For those of you who don't know, Nicole Scherzinger of the Pussycat Dolls was in Eden's Crush right here. No idea where any of the other ones went, but she actually made it big. Um, Willa Ford, Willa was here. I got nothing. Got nothing to say about that. Um, Madonna music. I feel like I wasn't a big Madonna fan, but this album in particular, music, nobody's perfect, don't tell me, like, it just, this was such a good CD. What year did this come out? This was 2000. I think this must have been my first Madonna CD. And the last CD I have to show you guys is a Rosie O'Donnell Christmas. I know what you're thinking, Emma, did you really listen to this CD? Yes. The answer is yes, because Celine Dion is on here, Cher, Billy Joel, and Sync, Gloria Estefan, Elmo. I loved the Elmo song. This was 99, so yeah, eight. That's a little old for eight, but this Christmas album, man. And on that note, we have reached the end of my old CD collection. I truly hope you guys enjoyed coming down memory lane with me. I know this was totally random, but before I decided what to do with these, I figured I had to document it on camera so that I just have this for the men's, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna put her in storage. She's in her original CD holder that I had from the 90s, so that's cute. And I think I'm just gonna put this in storage and just have these to look back on. I don't currently have a CD player, but 
you know, these albums are what shaped me and what I was completely obsessed with as a kid and into high school. So it's a perfect representation of what I used to love musically. If you guys enjoyed this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications bell so you guys never miss an upload. You can also follow along with me on social media at Emma Capotis on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and at Hater Emma on Snapchat. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.